wife done got me drug up in here in the Bath and Body Works. Well, I'm gonna have to smell 50 11 cents. But I will say that I'm digging the snake stuff. As, as if you've seen some of my very first videos of my YouTube channel, I used to be a snake owner. Where's the other one at? This one here. So if I still had my snake stuff and if I was into the Halloween decorating, not that I have anything against Halloween, but I'm just not a really big holiday decorator, I'd definitely have to buy the snake stuff. They got a pretty good selection, appears to be this year. What you thinking? They got a pretty good selection? I think they got more than last year. Vampire blood. This is my brother from the Magnet Fishing video. This is his favorite one here, the Spellbinding Sweets. Ain't it supposed to be like a similar like green apple or something? More or less. Yeah. Get the skeleton hand. So it says I make a sink side sound. laughing. It makes the evil laugh. So they got the image there that changes. So if you're looking for some Halloween decoration, get on down to Bath and Body Works and apparently that they've already got all the Halloween decor out for the year. And they typically don't do uh, the same decorations year after year, right? Right. Yeah. Sometimes they'll kind of flow into each other. Yeah, if they had, or if they had stuff like left over yeah. this year, they'll put it out next year. Well, guys, if, yeah, yeah. So guys, if you're looking for something for your girls and they're into Halloween, or just of course, like majority of ladies in the Bath and Body Works, you see the selection here. Go find them something and surprise them. Yeah, I'll go one. Well, we're gonna see what the wifey here got her some goodies over at Bath and Body Works, and she's gonna walk us through a quick little view of what she got. What'd you get there? Okay, so the first thing I got was warm vanilla sugar fine fragrance mist. I got this for free. It is normally $16.95, but if you download the Bath and Body Works rewards, they will give you coupons on the app. And the fragrance notes are intoxicating vanilla. White orchard, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood. It says cozy, enveloping, irresistible. It's just a really good vanilla scent. Alright. And then they had the single wick candles, which I really like these because I feel like they really fill up a room to be small, but they last a while too. And they were on sale for $5.95 each, right? Yep. And normally they are $15.95 each and I let you pick out the scents and we got pumpkin apple and you don't really like pumpkin so I think if you don't like pumpkin this is a good scent for you. It is the fragrance notes are red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, clove buds with natural essential oils. It's basically just pumpkin and apple with a hint of cinnamon and we got the Halloween candle ghoul friend and the fragrance notes are dark strawberries ghostly peony spine chilling citrus with natural essential oil i think they need to come up with a name like side ghost <laughs> <laughs> to go along with the ghoul friend <laughs> how would you describe this scent uh, to me it sounds like a or smells like a Sweeter candy kind of reminds me of the uh, the bubble gum, but right. like that's for like the it's like a berry, like the just... bubble gum chew, like the, with the baseball players on it that makes you feel like you're doing chewing tobacco, like the baseball players. That's what it kind of, kind of reminds me of, yeah. But just really good, 
fall candles. And that's it. I ended up spending like Just $12 dollars and some change. And, some change yeah. so. and now we're going to head to my store, which is the Home Depot. Stay tuned. And now from my home away from home. Let's see what we can get into. My next video, I'm going to be working on a misting system for the chicken coops. Ah, pretty good. You. Let's see. We're going to end up getting this piece here. It's the let's see, three quarter by one and a half. This side is three quarter threaded. This side is half inch for the PVC. And then we're going to have to get some half inch PVC piping, wherever it is. So right here is exactly what we need. And we'll see what we're going to get next. And next, to go along with this piece, we're going to have to come over here to the uh, garden hose aisle. And you got to get this metal double female adapter. And what that's going to allow is when you put this piece onto the end of the uh, PVC piping, you'll screw this into one end, then your water hose will screw into the other end to allow, of course, your water going from one end to the other. So if you're ever trying to figure out how to go from PVC to a water hose, that is how you do it. Again, I'm using half inch PVC, so get a half inch non-threaded side the that you know slides over your piping and then the other side will be three quarter inch threaded and then a double female uh, adapter both threaded again that'll connect from here and then to your water hose and that'll allow all your flow through your piping and then another thing which I already have some at home let me set those right there another really cool uh, piece I like to use is this setup right here. And let's see if they got some in here. Uh, I think they got both pieces. Well, the one looks like this, which is this piece. This piece here will actually screw on, you can screw it onto this fitting here, and then you'll put this piece onto your water hose right here and then literally this part slides over this and just clips to it then whenever you want to take it off you just push that back and it slides right off instead of having to unscrew and rescrew and worry about losing your uh, little seals and stuff it just snaps to and from each other uh, older mine off of Amazon you can get a bundle pack off of Amazon uh, fairly fairly well priced uh, but that's what I recommend for you got a lot of uh, different hookups that you're trying to do. Like, of course, I got a uh, spray nozzle. I don't see any here like the one I got. But, uh, of course, I got the spray nozzle. Plus, I'm going to have this set up uh, for the misting system. So, instead of constantly having to run multiple hoses or constantly having to unscrew and rescrew, I just bought, like I said, I ordered a bunch of these off of uh, Amazon. I think I ordered like an eight pack. And I just installed this set up on all of them. My little spray nozzle. Uh, has uh, this piece onto it. This is on the end of my water hose. So as long as I put this on each different thing that I have, all I got to do is just clip the water hose right to it and go to town and do whatever, you know, wet whatever I got to get, you know, uh, wet whatever I got to wet, spray whatever I got to spray, and then disconnect and move on to the next attachment. Well, unfortunately, we're having to leave Home Depot now. That's always the, that's always the saddest part of the day is having to leave the great Home Depot until next time but we got us a, a deck board a 1x4 where I can finish up a uh, goat milking station that I'm building for a co-worker of mine uh, then I got the PVC pipe and the accessories for it uh, for building the misting system or installing a misting system for the chickens kind of help see if that helps to keep them cool during these hotter days so that'll be one of my next couple videos, if not the next video, the misting parts are supposed to come in the mail. Today's Tuesday. They're supposed to come in the mail Thursday. So hopefully by Friday or Saturday I can have a video done and get that uploaded for you guys. And hopefully it'll be a helpful video for a lot of y'all. 
Till then, y'all have a good one. Say bye, wifey.